I am architect Sonorai and in this video I am going to discuss about underlay. Underlay in Revit. So uh, we will understand how it works. So suppose this is a uh, ground plus one uh, building which having a sloped roof and in this if I am going to I mean so uh, suppose this is a uh, level 2 means of either first floor or second floor I am going to level 2 means uh, level 1 is suppose it represents ground floor and level 2 is your first floor so I am going to level 2 and in this drawing you are saying the floor planning of level 2 and suppose uh, and here uh, it is mentioned level 2 and level 2 furniture so there are uh, this is duplicate level 2 in which furniture is also sold so suppose i am going to level 2 furniture so with furniture it is showing in this floor plan so suppose if i want to uh, in uh, means see the means uh, interior uh, walls and furnitures of first floor also of ground floor so we have to select uh, some settings in underlay underlay means basic the layers which are under any floor plan suppose the first floor uh, if on second floor i want to see the things of first floor so in revit if you uh, select underlay option so uh, the first floor or ground floor things will be shown in half tone suppose in uh, this first floor i want to see the uh, floor below this furnitures and walls and placement locations so we have to go to underlay so what we'll do we go to this properties palette and in this uh, we have to go to underlay so see clearly here saying this is our properties palette if you are going uh, down here it is mentioned underlay so underlay the default setting is range base none so none means nothing will be shown below your or above of your uh, floor plans so suppose if i want to see the things uh, i am on level 2 and i want to see the walls furniture placements everything of level 1 what i will go do i will go to this range underlay range base level i will click this none and then i will go to this drop down arrow and from this i will select level 1 if I want to see the things of level 1, this will be shown in half tone. I will select level 1 and click apply. And boom, you are able to see the uh, underlay of furniture, walls and uh, whatever the planning has been done on first floor clearly here. And it is all are represented in faded colors that is half tone. And if you want, if you want to again, if you after uh, suppose you are doing some uh, renovation work or uh, or any kind of project, so this uh, means underlay helps us very uh, much. And uh, after that, if you want, uh, don't want this underlay, you have to click none. And if you check none, apply, then everything will be gone. And suppose uh, above this you are seeing uh, here is above this floor there is slope row. So if I am going to uh, level 2 uh, furniture and if you wa uh, want to show your uh, roof line also here whatever the projection of roof to represent in drawing uh, of your that you can do here if you want to represent the outer line of roof that you can go to a uh, same uh, in underlay and in underlay you will go to none drop down arrow and from uh, this time if you want to show above uh, upper part projection so you will go to low roof and apply and you are clearly seeing you are seeing your roof line in half tone and uh, roof uh, outer line also you are able to see and that also you can use to represent your drawing 
so this is the very basic method to understand underlay and after that uh, some remaining uh, functions tools are here this will have to understand this is uh, select links this allow you to select links and elements suppose if i want to uh, select all these uh, windows i will go to this window and press tab and all this wall we can select and move so you have to keep it this by default and again if i am going to level 2 and uh, i am going to underlay and i am clicking level 1 apply so suppose i am taking this my mouse but i am not able to select the elements of level 1 underlay elements of level 1 but if you go to select underlay elements okay if i am clicking this and after that if i am uh, this allow us to select our underlay elements so uh, if this option is uh, checked on select underlay elements i am easily to select this uh, door of first floor but again if you are uh, uh, check, uh, making this off by cross sign i am not able to select the door of first floor so uh, just uh, you have to keep this off because it will create errors in drawings and uh, the next is select pinned element so so what is pin element suppose uh, uh, this is a wall and i am going to here is option in ribbon pin i i will uh, if i want to lock this this pin mark will come here that means this wall is locked so when this option is on i am clearly able to this select this select this wall also this this is locked and i can move I can go to select and move and I can move easily this wall and uh, and uh, the, why this is showing that we can't move pinned element so for that you have to unpin it you have to just select one more time and you can now you can easily move this wall here so pinned element cannot be moved so again uh, when this option is selected select pinned element when i am checking this i am again going to lock this i will click one more time and this will be locked and when i am making this off and i am not able to select this pinned wall I am not able to select but I am able to select this wall because this is not locked means that this is not pinned so for selecting pinned wall you have to make this on so now again I am able to select this and I can unlock and move it so and this select element by face that means if you want to select this wall by face if I am bringing this in mid I am able to select the wall and this is floor if I am making this uh, uh, I am bringing this mouse in on face of floor I am able to select this but just keep a watch I am uh, making this off so I am not able to select this floor by face but when I am bringing my mouse on edge of floor uh, I am able to select it and also wall also if you bringing on edge you will be able to select this so for what is this showing select element by allows you to select an element by clicking on face rather than edge so just uh, for making both the option open you just make this on and uh, this you have to keep uh, by default drag elements on selection and uh, this is just for today and in next tutorial we will go more about in Revit. Thanks for watching. Like my comment. Subscribe my channel Software Mania. And give your valuable comments. I will make more videos in Revit Architecture 2019.
thanks thanks for watching thank you